Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be filming a sewing room tour. I absolutely love watching videos like this on YouTube and I thought why not show you guys how I organize my room. I live in a one bedroom apartment so it's not necessarily a separate space. I have it in my living room. So before we get right into the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this video, thumbs up, give it a big thumbs up and yeah, share, share it to your friends and check out the other videos on my channel. I post on how to make patterns, how to cut, how to sew. So make sure to check that out and hopefully you find videos useful. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one. So starting from here guys, I have my adjustable dress form. I really love having this. It's um, really nice to have. I can just throw on my designs and take really nice pictures using this and I love the fact that it's adjustable as well so I could use it if I needed to just test out um, the measurements and all so I really like having this here. Next is this spot right here. I have my long ruler. I just put it there because there's nowhere else to put it so yeah it's just hanging out right there. And then the next thing I have here is this box right here. Everything I need for sewing, my chargers, my my chargers, my memory card, my hard drive, everything I need is in here. So it's really handy to have that here. It's very easy to fill this up with junk, so I'm very careful. And then next thing is this sewing machine or sorry my serger my Singapore finish serger I really love having this this is one of my best buys because it just makes my projects really um, professional and a nice clean finish so I really like having that moving on next um, moving on to this place right here I have my um, pencil case so here everything I need my fabric markers my pen tools for when I'm drawing my pattern or sketching my designs my exacto knife a ruler everything I need is just right here ready to grab and re um, ready for me to grab it next thing is my sewing machine right here this is my single heavy duty sewing machine I really love having this I've had this for about two years now and yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it hasn't given me any issues so far, so it's good and it's nice. Um, right up top here, I have a picture of this serger I would like to get. But as you can see, it's $729.99. That is way too expensive and I don't have that right now. Um, so I just put that as an inspiration of something I would like to get when I do have the money or perhaps I'll get a better brand you never know but yeah right now this this works just fine for me all right moving on to this table I really love having this table or I think I got this table for $50 yes off Kijiji and I was gonna spend like twice as much yeah over twice as much on that on on Ikea but I just checked Kijiji and I found this and it's really nice because I really like it it has great storage and it enables me to just slide from my sewing machine to my surgery machine and back to my sewing machine so I really like having this table so the first drawer right here I have my um, my French curves everything I need to um, everything I need from drawing my patterns I have this right here so this is so sad my ruler broke um, last week oh, I cried when I, this happened my ruler broke ah oh, so sad and this is one of the best rulers I have but hopefully super glue would be able to yeah hopefully super glue would work for this so yeah that's that drawer right there so the next um, drawer is my um, scissors where I keep my scissors so I absolutely have a lot I know this is quite a lot and I don't even use so from here to here I don't use them this is the only one I use it is absolutely fantastic I love it and 
it cuts like butter like so smooth and nice so, yeah. Um, yes so one thing about this table is it does have a little bit of it does have wear and tear but I absolutely don't mind like for $50 I don't mind it does have like some scratches it came with some scratches but yeah I, I don't mind it, it does the work so yeah so moving on to this place right here um, she threw this in for an extra $20 so yeah I got that as well when she offered it to me I was like oh yeah why not that's great so in this plastic container right here I have um, my current project so everything I'm working on right now just gets put in here so it's not all messy and hanging around because this is a living room as well right so yeah I just have my current sewing projects right here and then here I have my my measuring tape um, for easy access I really like having that there and then here I just have my craft paper hanging out at the side and then in my first drawer up top I have my um, little scissors right here I have my pins I have extra needles my bobbins tape my sewing um, for measuring gauge I have my um, here is my weight, my pattern weight, um, extra um, extra measuring tapes. I have my my stitch remover, I guess. So this is a stitch remover as well. This is a stitch remover. I have that right there. Next step is I have in this drawer. I have my just miscellaneous it um, items. So I have spare pencils. I have um, I think this is my sewing machine oil. I have glue and then I also have my tags for my business I have um, plastic bags everything I need for my business I do have I sell bonnets so check out our Instagram page my Instagram page I sell hair bonnets um, yeah and I also have a pattern I'm working on right there right now so yeah the next drawer here I have everything to do with bias binding and seam binding so I have yeah I have a lot in different colors but it's it's very helpful to have um, this type of things in different colors so you know if, if any project you're working on you have something that goes with it and you don't have to run to the fabric store every time you need something so I just like having things like this in bulk and then here I have a lot of zips and um, a lot of buttons sorry I don't know why I have a lot I, I guess it was on sale that's why I would have bought it and yeah value village guys if you're in Canada check value village because they really have some nice um, sewing things there and it's really cheap I think I got it for, for like five dollars so yeah I'll probably never use everything in my lifetime but oh yeah so here this is the where I put my zippers and I have um, a little container and I just arranged my zippers so this is the best solution I found so I just get ziplock bags and I put my zippers here so I, tr I, tr I, I, I like to differentiate it so my short zippers my medium length zips um, I have long so my sewing is very organized so when i need something i know where it is and i know where everything is so that's really good because something that can frustrate you while sewing is not knowing where your things are when you need them so it's good to just compartmentalize and have everything in one place i have extra buttons um pins extra pins just extra stuff now this drawer right here i have my here i have my What's this called? My thread. So I have like a whole bunch of different threads. My surgeon threads. I have them in different colors. I have the shorter ones here. Here. And also like uh this was bought on sale. Like I think it was like a dollar fifty for each thread. So I always buy it on sale and I stock up. So you see back here, I've not even touched any of these ones here. Because uh, 
haven't I've just, I just I haven't just needed them. I mostly use black. It's it's always nice to have different colors. So that's that. So here I have my bookshelf. I have a bookshelf in my closet, and here I just store all of my fabrics. So it's so messy up there. I'm not even gonna show you guys, but right here I have fabric in here. Um I store all of my um, African fabrics right here. Here I have my sewing book, my mannequin head, my sketchbook right here. Um, I have my fabric here. I have more fabric down here. You know, if you sew, you tend to accumulate a lot of fabric. So yeah, here I have my bonnets, everything I need for my bonnets right here. Here I have my lining, I have stuff for lining, um, yeah, just here. This one I'm not even going to open because it's so messy down here, but yeah. So this is how I keep my fabric organized. Trust me, it's not always this neat, it's not always this clean here. But I tried to clean up as best as I could. This is a storage closet and yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching and hopefully you guys like this type of video. I'm not a vlogger so I'm not really good at it so well yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.